All right, hello fellow coder. Welcome to this next lesson where we are going to be building a React plus Spring Boot web app from scratch. In this one, we will be talking about React Router and how we can set up our routes, in other words, our paths inside of our uh, web app, such that when you go to a different URL, it will actually render different views in the uh, React you know, client side uh, portion of our application. So if that is of interest to you, if you are looking to get set up with routes, then stick around, you're gonna like this video. All right, fellow coders, let's get into it and get to work. So in the previous lesson, we've set up uh, some code to uh, be able to store our JSON web token appropriately. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I would recommend going back in this entire uh, playlist and uh, check it out. Check out all the videos before this one. This is probably lesson like 11 or something in our in our series so far. So in order to get going with a route uh, using the React router, um, basically what we want to do is we want to have a different endpoint. So instead of localhost 3000, it'll be like, you know, localhost 3000 slash, and then maybe something like dashboard or something to be able to see um, what's going on in our application. If I do that now, um, it just re-renders the uh, original screen because there is really only one route right now inside of our application. So the server side just doesn't know what to do. Um, and it renders out the index.html, which we only have one view here, which is in the app.js. <clears throat> so in order to create a route, uh, we need something called React router now there's obviously a great article uh, by the people who create react router reactrouter.com you click on documentation so this lesson will be sort of going through uh this part of the documentation and we'll be installing it via npm so we just do an npm install like so <coughs> so uh in order to do that uh we need to go into our terminal uh, i'm going to hit Control c to terminate the uh, job that's running now I'll paste in the npm install react router into our front end. This is where our uh, React app exists. Let's go ahead and uh, install React router. Hopefully, if all goes well, it just installs. There we go. So it has installed, and we can go back and npm start our application, which will launch it again in our browser. So that is the, you know, as complex as the uh, installation part of the conversation goes. Uh, so that's good. Now, next up, we need to actually start to use um, the actual uh, router itself. So now that we're booted up, let me refresh the page and there we go. So typically the router code goes into the app.js uh, file, <laughs> which is usually where all the routes are stored. And then we create components, which we haven't talked about yet in depth. We'll create components uh, that the routes will point to. Right now, everything, all of our code is inside of one file, which you know, in, in the grand scheme of things is not how we do it in the real world. Uh, we break things up into components. So in any case, I will show you uh, how to make this work. So inside of our return statement, the return statement is where essentially the view exists. Everything above the return statement in our app uh, app.js file, everything above, so from here down to just above the return statement, um, all of this represents sort of the code that supports the view, uh, our methods that we create and any functionality and whatnot. That's what this code is. And then in the return statement, this is where we are returning the actual view. This is called JSX, JavaScript <laughs> expression notation. Excuse my coughing. I'm still, still sick, getting over a cold. Um, so yeah, this is where uh, the the code for the router will go, will go because that's the router is sort of tied to views, meaning the HTML code, meaning the JSX, a JavaScript expression language, so to speak. Expression language? I forget what JSX stands for, um, but it looks like HTML, right? This looks like HTML, but it's actually not, it's JSX. Um, so inside of here is where our routes will go because right now all it's doing is anywhere we go, any route, any path, any URL we visit, it's essentially just going to return this block of code, which is hello world, and it renders our uh, token or uh, JSON web token on the screen. So you want to change this to augment it with routes. So how do we do that? Uh, we can put in uh, router, uh, which comes from React Router DOM. If I click on this, it'll import it at the top uh, somewhere here. It imports uh, router as React Router DOM. Um, 
and uh, we also need to have routes, I think. So there's router, um, sorry, not router, routes. My bad, routes. Boop. Click on that and we want to use routes from React Router. Uh, routes is our uh, sort of tag that uh, holds all of our different um, paths for routes, right? So there's the routes on the outside and then there's a single route on the inside. So routes and route or root, depending on how you like to say it. Now everything's uh, angry right now, it's all red because you're only allowed to have one uh, element as the parent. And right now we have two parent elements. We have this and we have this div. So um, that's why it's complaining. If I hover over, it's gonna say a container for nested for a nested tree of elements that renders the branch and blah, blah, blah. blah. So uh, you, it says uh, JSX expressions must have one parent element. So right now we have two parent elements, which is why it's complaining. I'll fix that in a moment. So. What is our first route? Well, we'll have a path, right? Each route has a path. We can identify uh, sort of the um, uh, the catch-all path to be, I don't know, the, just slash. So this could be like, you know, the home page of our app. Um, so that'll be the path. And then you can actually um, put in an element, meaning a, uh, a component. So you can pass in an element here, um, like so. And this element, I think this could be a self-closing tag, right? Yeah, we can have this being a self-closing. So in other words, we can do that. And this element can be can render a, a, a component, <coughs> which I wonder if I can, can I hard code anything in here as the element? I forget, because what is the element? What does it want? It wants a component, which isn't, I wonder if I can Im input a function like this, which just returns a div tag saying home or something like that. I wonder if I can do that. Uh, we'll see. And then, so that's one route. And then the, the we'll have that at the bottom. The, the the next route I'll do is where we can have pass slash dashboard, right? And we'll make this an exact. Can I do exact here? No, I can't. Um, maybe that's a, an augmentation of um, routes. Usually you can say exact. Um, but for this, we'll create another element. And this element will actually be a component that we will create. So we'll create a component called the dashboard component. Okay, see what I've done there? I've done um, a, uh, a sort of an HTML tag called dashboard, which doesn't exist yet, but we're going to create that, uh, that view. And essentially the dashboard, maybe will just represent this div. So I'm gonna cut this div code out, which represents our view. I'm gonna save this code. Okay, good, so it accepted my code. The only thing it's complaining about is it's saying, hey, I don't know what dashboard is, right? So let's create uh, some components um, in the source folder. Um, there's a bunch of different ways that you can do this, but I'll create a new folder called dashboard, which represents our dashboard component. And inside of dashboard, I'll include a new file called index.js that ties itself in with the dashboard, okay? Um, so the index.js file is nested within a dashboard folder, uh, which represents the dashboard component in itself. <clears throat> now, what is this component? Well, we're gonna create one. We're gonna create something called a functional component. A uh, functional component is just a, uh, it's a function that we're gonna define. Um, and that function is going to be called dashboard. Um, and inside of there is gonna be all of our code, our code that supports the dashboard stuff. And then the return statement that returns our view, just like we have in the app.js. In app.js, we have a function called app. So we're gonna create a function called dashboard here. And all the code that supports it, which is inside of the scope here, so we'll have that as well in our dashboard uh, index.js file. And then there's also the return statement, which returns a view. Okay, so to set this up, we could heart, we could type it all in ourselves and, and be diligent about typing every single keystroke or key character, or whatever. Or we can do uh, leverage uh, one of our um, extensions called React.js code snippets. So React.js code snippets, if I type in RSC, that is a React stateless component, which is exactly what I want to create. So if I click on that now, boop, it creates um, the boilerplate code that we'll need to create our dashboard component. So it creates uh, that component or that um, uh, structure of the, uh, what's it called, uh, function. So it creates the uh, function using a uh, Lambda expression here, and then it exports it right away as a default. So, and it's highlighting index. So right now we can rename this to dashboard because that is our component name. Uh, I'll hit escape to stop editing the, both of the dashboard texts. And then we have the, 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 what you call it, the, um, 
uh, root, the boilerplate, the template for our, our dashboard, okay? So uh, I'll hit save here, it'll reformat the code. Um, and we have a div, actually we don't need an outer div here because we have that div here. Um, class name is not gonna be app, we actually don't need that. That was used way back at the beginning when um, we had in the app.css code. <laughs> Uh, in app.css, which is right here, uh, there was a class called app or whatever, and it had defined some some sort of body. I think it was like text align center or something was in there. Um, that's what was in there before for the app class name or whatever. Um, so that's why I just deleted it from there. Uh, so this div does not have a class name. So it says, hello world. And it says JPT value is JBT, uh, JWT, but as you can see, JWT is unknown. It's saying, I don't know what this variable is. So the JWT, we, we declared it up here, right? So we can cut this code out and paste it in here now, <clears throat> or sorry, inside the, the scope of our uh, dashboard function. And then we can import use local state uh, <coughs> by hitting control space and clicking on it. Um, oop, use local state like that. All right, so now it should know what JWT is um, and it will be rendered there. Now, also we have code here to set the JWT and, uh, and maybe that, hmm, where can we have that code? Maybe we'll leave that code here for now. Um, so we'll leave that in there so it doesn't break anything. And now it still doesn't know where dashboard is. So now we've created our dashboard, uh, you know, folder with the index.js file. So now we need to import it, right? Same thing, control space here to import. Uh, probably I'll import at the end, control space like this. Click on dashboard and then that creates the dashboard import. Now you'll notice, side note, there's a difference in these imports, right? There's the, the imports where you have these curly braces and then you have an import that doesn't have the curly braces. What gives? What's the difference here? Well, the difference is dashboard, if you notice, we use the keyword default when exporting, when exporting the dashboard component. When we use default, um, it means that this is essentially the, the main export that we're doing. This is, we're exporting this one um, uh, function that we created as the default export. Um, and when we do it that way, we don't need to include it in curly brackets because the curly brackets are non-default. It's when you have a whole bunch of different uh, exports that you wanna make, you know, we wanna export a bunch of different functions, um, then you would use, there would not be a default export. Um, but yeah, by default, this is what the you are exporting, which makes it sort of publicly accessible from the outside to import somewhere else. Um, and that's why you don't need the curly brackets here for that syntax. Uh, we're also not using state. I can delete that unused import, save. And as you can see now, uh, dashboard now renders a blank screen. So that, is that expected? Um, let me see, routes, path, slash dashboard should be rendering the dashboard element which should return a div with so that was not expected i would have expected to see our our code right our uh, our uh oop, not dash dash board so something's wrong here let me just f12 and see if is there an exception okay there's an exception <clears throat> uncut error uh use routes may only be used in the context of a router component so i've done something wrong that's okay it's a learning journey i'm going to peek over at my, uh, what's this code called? This is the uh, article. So I'm noticing, so in the, uh, it says in the, once you uh, once your project is set up and the React router is installed as a dependency, open the index.js. So in index.js, sorry, the original index.js here, inside of uh, this code, let me just bring the article over. Um, it's saying to, uh, in the React render, it's saying to bring in browser router around the app. So I missed that. I did not bring the browser router around the app and then import browser router from React Router DOM. Is that the problem? Okay, good. So the error went away. Now I'm still not seeing the rendering of the, uh, what you call it here. So that's still a little bit wonky. Let me see, return div, hello world. So it should be returning this view, which comes from this route, um, and I'm not seeing it, so that's okay. Let's keep going down, see if I miss anything else. So we have in the app JS file, we have routes, we have the path that says home. Uh, oh, and this one doesn't have a forward slash, so maybe that's the problem. My path 
should not include a forward slash. Okay, dash board, you have to spell it right. So I had a typo in my in my URL. I did not spell it correctly. Now, if I put that forward slash back, does that break everything? No, it doesn't. I just missed, I mistyped it. So there you go. It was a typo. Cool. So now, as you can see, we have uh, the route. When we go to slash dashboard, it goes and renders the view that we expect, which is awesome. And if we delete that and just go to the home, the root, um, we do not see uh, anything. I guess it, this is not, I thought it would return this, um, this div uh, with this path. If I remove the forward slash, it doesn't make a difference. So there is, again, this is probably not the right way to do it. <clears throat> again, it should be returning a component, but I guess returning this uh, guy is not enough. Um, so if we were to create another uh, view, let's in the source, create a new folder. We'll call this, uh, I don't know, uh, what's the home? I guess we'll call it home page. Okay, so we can have a home page and bring in a new file, index.js, right? RSC, enter to create the boilerplate code. We'll call this the home page application or home page, um, what's it called? Functional uh, components. And then let me grab my return here statement and paste that into the home page. So, oh, sorry, we'll return the div saying, you know, something like, we'll do an H1 maybe saying home page slash h1 like so and then instead of saying return in this element returning this uh, uh empty function here we will return the component called home page is our component right i'm gonna hit enter and it should import it up here so now home page is also being imported if i save that boom now it says home page so you know i tried to uh, there's a there's a must be a different syntax uh, for, you know, injecting a view directly in as an element. Um, so clearly, yeah, I did that wrong. Cool. So now we have home page when we go to the local host 3000. And if we go to dashboard, we should see the dashboard view. And if we go anywhere else and hit enter, um, oops, it just, re it renders nothing, right? So nothing is rendered uh, and, and that's it. So there's no view for it. So it renders nothing. Okay. So there we go. That's sort of how we set up uh, routes inside of uh, react. Uh, I think that's fairly straightforward, um, in terms of how to set things up. So to review, we have to go into the main index.js file. Remember to wrap the code, the app code here with the browser router and import it from react router Dom. Then we need to go into our app JS. And instead of returning what we had before, we return routes, which is also imported from, uh, where is it here? React router Dom. And then within the routes tag, we embed uh, or we nest in the route um, tags, which define a path and an element. And then we talked a little bit about how to create our own uh, components, functional components, right? So we saw how to uh, put them into their own folder. You create the index.js file for each one, name it appropriately, name it the same as the folder to be consistent. And uh, yeah, each of these can now uh, function as their own components. And we can now copy and paste these components somewhere else if we want to reuse these components, which is the beauty of React. You can reuse these views and reuse these components. And you can have components nested within components, nested within components to make everything really reusable. Um, and it's lovely. I, I love that in inside of React. So cool. There we have it. Hopefully that was uh, of interest to you. Hopefully that gave you a lot of value. Go ahead and click like on this video if you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you haven't already, you can go above me. There should be uh, my face there uh, or our brand logo there uh, where you can click to subscribe to the channel. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for joining. Can't wait to see you in the next lesson in this series. Until then, take care of yourself. Happy learning and bye for now.